Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve example 5.1 that is taken from chapter number 5, Torsion, and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler, 9th edition. So, statement is the solid shaft of radius C is subjected to torque T in figure 5-10A. Determine the fraction of T that is resisted by the material contained within the outer core of the shaft which has inner radius of C by 2 and outer radius of C. So you can see this is a solid shaft that is made up of this core as well as inner core having radius C by 2 and the torque T is applied. So you, you have to find the fraction of torque that is resisted by this that is resisted by this outer core. So let's start with the solution. So what I have done is that I have taken this outer core having radius C and this is the inner core which is having in a radius c by 2 and again you can see if i take a small differential circle circular section like this which i have shown here by using this green color so what you can say that let this uh, this circle is at a distance of rho from this uh, center Point. and the thickness of this circle or cross section is d rho clear and as we know that uh, stress if you take the stress uh, due to torsion so stress uh, is equal to t into rho divided by c and you can see that shear stress is maximum at the outer region so let this is the maximum shear stress term x and if you take a small differential element on this like this so here the stress will be sigma uh, uh, so not sigma tau let this is tau clear and the stress distribution will be a linear one clear so from here from this diagram you can see that if i take this tau x divided by this distance c that will be equal to this t shear stress divided by this rho so what i can write is that tau x tau x divided by c will be equal to shear stress divided by rho from here we can say that this shear stress on in small element is equal to rho divided by c multiply by tau max now you can see that this is the shear stress and this shear stress is due to some torque which is delta t or you can say dt clear so how we will find this dt torque so this dt torque will be equal to you can see this is the shear stress so when shear stress is multiplied with this small element da clear that will give you the shear force multiplied by this distance rho will give you the torque so i can write term tau into dA multiply by rho will give you the small differential torque at this element. So put the value of this torque. So torque is uh, shear stress which is rho divided by C into tau max clear multiply by what is dA. So differential area for this as this shear stress acts on this small differential element clear so we can say that uh, mm, this will be equal to 2 rho 2 pi rho into d rho will be this small differential element so 2 pi rho into d rho multiply by this rho so when you solve this you will get dt dash will be equal to 2 pi rho cube into d rho divided by c multiply by tau max now if you want to find the torque resisted by this core clear so here rho will be e greater or equal to c by 2 and it will be less or equal to c so we will integrate this equation on both sides so dt dash and limit will be from c by 2 to c and that will be equal to c by 2 into c 2 pi rho cube d rho divided by c into tau max and you can see 
this tom x is also constant multiply by 2 pi divided by c is also constant so we will left with c by 2 c rho cube into d rho so if you integrate it you will get this on left side it be total torque resisted by this outer core and that will be equal to 2 pi tom x divided by c an integral of rho uh, power 3 will be equal to rho 4 and divide by 4 and we will have limit from c by 2 to c now this t dash will be equal to 2 pi tom x divide by c and we will get c power 4 divide by 4 minus c by 2 power 4 divide by 4 okay so when you solve this you will get this tar dash which is the torque resisted by outer core will come out to be 15 pi over 32 tom x into c power 3 let this is the equation number one now you can see this equation one number one contain tom x so what we will do is that we will find this tom x by using the formula we know that ta is equal to t into rho divided by c when rho is equal t rho divided by j clear so when rho is equal to c we will get maximum shear stress and maximum shear stress will be equal to t into c divided by j okay so put the value we know that j for this uh, shaft circular sh solid shaft will be equal to pi by let me write it pi by pi uh, into c power 4 for radius there so pi into c power 4 so when you put the value of j j is the polar moment of inertia so you will get t into c divided by pi c power 4 and you will get maximum shear stress it will be equal to t divided by pi c q okay i think let me check the formula for j the formula for j is pi by 2 c power 4 so what can i write over here is that this is pi by 2 here so again you have to put it here so tom x will be equal to 2t over pi c power 4 okay now when you get this value so plug this is your equation number 2 there so put equation 2 in equation number 1 so you will get tar dash will be equal to 15 pi divided by 32 multiply by 2t over pi c 3 okay this is c 3 because c will cancel with this multiply by c cube so you can see that this c cube c cube and pi pi will cut c cube c cube will cut and we will left with 30 t over 32 and this t dash will be equal to 15 over 16 t clear where t is the total torque that is applied on this solid shaft clear and from here you can see that this uh, t dash is equal to 15 by 16 15 by 16 multiplied by torque so approximately approximately 94 percent of torque is resisted by is resisted by core while remaining while 1 over 16 of torque is resisted by the inner core of shaft so from here we can see the material located at outer core of the shaft is highly effective in resisting torque which justify the use of tubular shaft as an efficient mean of transmitting torque and therefore by saving material and that was all about this example 5.1 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it 
and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.